up guys you're now tuned in to jaja ja jocelyn if you're not yet a subscriber go ahead on and hit that subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber you're already a part of the jaja ja gang welcome back if you don't know now you know i have had my child in the, some of the previous videos you've seen me where i've stated that i was pregnant you didn't really see my body so you really couldn't just really really tell where i was as far as my pregnancy unless i just told you but i have had my bundle of joy she's right here in my arms right now and i am coming on here because i am just letting you know a few tips and tricks about newborns. Um, this is my second go around. I have my son, Braylon, he's now eight. And now I have given birth to my daughter, Journey. She is beautiful and I love her so much. But um, just being realistic, I'm getting back into the swing of things. I'm, I, I know this is the second go around. This is the second time around. And uh, I'm excited about my journey with my journey. And I am um, just, geeked up because I know that I'm gonna rock this and I know that I got this you hear me I know that I got this with this being said and everything uh, that I've stated to you I'm coming on here with a few tips and tricks now with my first child I did not know everything I had the help of my parents I had the help of my grandparents at the time I had the help of um, you know siblings I had had the help of um, peers that taught me and kind of showed me um, the ways to go. Um, and also this go around, I don't know everything. I didn't learn everything with my first child. God has really put people in place to really help me and really just kind of show me the ropes, things that I didn't know, wasn't um, familiar with previously. And I'm so thankful for that. I utilize as far as making milk for my baby. Keep in mind that right now I'm nursing as well. So she's uh, interchanging between the formula and me breastfeeding. I do not pump milk. I do not sit up and uh, store milk. However, I did learn a few um, things from an RN that basically uh, kind of made it clear for me as to what route I was gonna go with feeding her. Now, with my first child, I did not breastfeed at all, but this one, um, I wanted to try a different approach and to, um, just kind of utilize um, everything that was given to me, including the lactating milk in my breast. And it doesn't help that um, at this particular time, I don't know, you know, you know how it's looking like in the future, but at this particular time, uh, we're experiencing a milk shortage. So I wanted to be sure that I had everything that I need for my child, and I was um, really, really geared towards and geeked up about getting her to latch on in the hospital in which she did with no problem and i'm so thankful for that okay now when you're lactating and when you produce milk you typically produce it after the child is born at first prior like during my pregnancy i did not see any sign of me having milk but the moment she was born when i woke up from that nap after that anesthesia when i woke up my breasts were leaking. They were leaking. So that let me know that I was lactating and that I was producing milk, okay? Now, in the hospital, I was able to get her to latch on, but I've learned that when you continuously allow your child to latch on or when you're pumping, in which I'm not doing, but when you continuously allow your child to latch on, get some of that good milk, then you continue to produce milk. If you don't, let your child latch on and if you don't pump milk then i from my understanding you will stop producing okay so being that i'm interchanging between both the formula and breastfeeding i make sure that i let her breastfeed periodically so i can keep producing milk for her okay at least until i get comfortable um with what formula she's on and um this shortage kind of clears up okay now Another thing that I want to tell you guys is that, and this is the biggest thing that I could possibly tell you, and you should probably know this, but utilize the nap times. Right now, baby girl is knocked out, she's asleep, but utilize the nap times. Sometimes she plays possum, which means that, she's, that she can feel when she's being put down and she'll open her eyes to see if I'm still there. 
And if I'm not there, she'll kind of whine and cry. But that's a part of her being spoiled. But when she is asleep, I utilize that time to make bottles. I utilize that time to clean bottles. I utilize that time to um, stock up on drawers, to get her clothes situated, to uh, stock up on diaper bags and get those stocked up and equipped for the road. I, I just utilize the time that I have wisely. Um, sometimes I do sleep with my baby. So when my baby is asleep, I'm asleep, which is good. That way I can be alert and ready and active and patient when she wakes up. However, um, those times where I'm those times where I'm not sleepy, I use that time to really, really make sure that everything is in place for my baby girl. Okay. Um, I, in particularly, I have a drawer over to the side of my bed. That drawer has her baby wipes, baby powder, and Pampers. Okay. I love that drawer because um, my baby, she's really, really particular about the state of her pamper. Okay. Nothing excessive. So not excessively wet and definitely not excessively dirty okay so I make sure that um, whenever the time comes or whenever I feel it like getting a little plump I'll go ahead on and uh, give her a change and also being that I have everything so organized and in place it's easy for me to get to it or to get someone else to get to it so if I tell Braylon hey go to the pamper drawer grab me a pamper and wipes he's able to do so because it's already in place as well as with making the milk. When she wakes up from the nap, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be feeding time. You feed them one to two hours after the last feeding. So that's how long her naps typically last, if not longer. So when she wakes up, she'll be ready to eat. Um, all I know is that when my baby comes up from that nap, it's showtime and everybody better get to dancing. You, <laughs> you hear me? Everybody better get to dancing. <laughs> because she's the director. <laughs> so with everything that I've told you in this video, I'm telling you everything that I learned, you know, just day by day. We're taking this day by day and we're just, just making it happen, okay? Hopefully this has helped you guys and hopefully proved to be, you know, of some kind of guide for you. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. She's looking at me right now now. But <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. Again, thank you for the support and everything. I'm so happy, you guys. I'm so happy. And I'm so excited. I love you all. Stay tuned for more from Ja Ja Jocelyn. And you guys stay on it. You guys get organized. Make sure those babies have everything they need. Any type of business that you have to handle, go ahead on and handle it. Because we got to do what is best for our babies. For the generation that is to come. And we need to be on point as parents, okay? All right, so good luck to everybody. Blessings to everybody. And I'm praying for you all. Thank you so much. Jaja Gang, we're out.